Welcome to Olympic Village for the big derby match between Heidelberg United and South Melbourne Hellas. Heidelberg, a great recent run of theirs, unbeaten in the last five games. Today, there's only the one change to the side, which drew nil-nil with Adelaide City last week. Number four, Sean Murphy replaces Troy Cranny. The Olympic team player will partner Doug Hodgson in the centre of defence, with teenager Kevin Muscat sweeping. There'll be a five-man midfield of Bratton, Stubborn, Slipkus, Batalis and Scott. Up front, number nine, Derek Hutter, will partner Joe Palacidis. 26-year-old Terry Patalis takes part in his first big derby game. He's played eight games since his transfer from Greece and has scored two goals for his new club, Heidelberg. South Melbourne coach Ferenc Bushkus has made three changes in the wake of his team's recent poor run. Steve Blair, the number five, is back in the defence along with Socceroo Mehmet Djurakovic, while Con Butsianis has been promoted. Hellas will have an attack of Taliadoras, Trimboli and Butsianis. It's a special game for the man in the centre, Peter Tsalakis. He made his NSL debut in 1985 for Heidelberg. Today he lines up against the team and his best man at his wedding, I should point out, Joe Palacidis. Both players were together at Port Melbourne. And 40-year-old referee John Fraser takes control of his second big derby game today. He was in control of proceedings in the first round with South Melbourne, the victors, by five goals to nil over Heidelberg but I'm pretty sure it might be a different story today. All in readiness at Olympic Village. Almost a capacity crowd, you could say, as I look around. The first big derby for myself and for Johnny Warren as well. Johnny's been here, well, I think it was four or five seasons ago, Johnny, but we're expecting quite a bit from this game. Well, I think it's uh, the Portons are very good, Andy, because both teams uh, will play very attacking football. Heidelberg have to win. It's a game their coach, Gary Cole, believes they can win and uh, to keep them in touch, a slim chance of making the five. And of course, South Melbourne, just looking at their lineup, Butzianis, uh, Hasler playing in a defensive role, a very attacking player, uh, Trimboli, Taliadoris and Salakis. So it's a very offensive team for South Melbourne as well. And it augurs well for a very attacking match and living up to what has become a tradition in Australian football of this Greek derby, Heidelberg against South Melbourne. And Steve Blair is back in the South Melbourne Hellas lineup, two serious injuries have curtailed his appearances this year. And Gary Hasler, who played at left back, has moved into a midfield style of position. Healy will be the pickup man along with Jurakovic. And a misappearance by Murphy. Then Hodgson just makes sure of it. The 23 year old defender. Bowley couldn't get his cross in as Sean Murphy was right on him. Sean Murphy on the left, he comes into the side today. He was injured playing for the Olympic team against Tasmania at the end of that Swedish series where they played in all the uh, lead-up games for Australia, Sweden. They went to Tassie and uh, suffered an injury. Healy. He looks for support in Wade. Get it on by Peterson. Tell you, Doris tried to lay it off for Butsianis. And Blair right on the back of Palacidis. Healy it is. With space. Back inside for Triboli. Triboli chipping it in. Evading Tadagoras, but it's in. Have a guess who? Cot Butsianis. He scored twice in the corresponding match of the first round. And he stuck it away. 23 minutes in. Cot Butsianis. A lovely goal, John. All the signs of South Melbourne coming back into it, Andy, uh, gradually coming back into the game. This is a good move by them. Healy starts it on the right. It's an excellent cross. It's then uh, the work of Trimboli. beats his opponent in the area, and then the nice cross. And Butzianis on the spot to put it away. Hooks it in, well struck, and an excellent goal from South Melbourne. There's certainly a great goal for Con Butzianis. He's eighth in the National League, his 35th appearance, and he stuck it away well. And what good work from Trimboli in that lead-up. The beauty of Trimboli, he uh, doesn't score as many goals as perhaps he'd like to, but he's just always involved in the goals at South Melbourne score, setting them up unselfishly as we saw on that occasion. And Hodgson, David Doris will get there, he does, but he knocks it back behind of Wade. But the referee has picked 
picked up uh, for the foul. There was no advantage in the end for South Melbourne. Uh, Healy looks up. He was thinking of knocking it straight down the line for Taylor Doris. He finds Salakis. Salakis trying to squeeze it on for Triboli, but here's one for Hunter. Hunter and Jurekovic. Hunter, the shot. And good save by McLaren. He made it look easier than what it was, John. But it was good positioning, Andy, but what the speed of Hunter really caught South Melbourne out there. And hits the ball so well, but good positioning from McLaren makes the save look uh, a lot easier than otherwise it could have been. Attacking the ball on the edge of the box. Cuts the angle down for Hunter, but well done by Hunter. And well done, McLaren. Kim and Teodorus with a superb strike rate in the Coca-Cola Soccer League. 43 goals in 92 matches. This is a handy position for South Melbourne. In it comes. Wade's up. Away. It's straight to Peterson. Lovely ball on for Triboli. Musket was over there. Scott and Salakas challenged the overhead and just over by Taylor Doris. And that's a classy bit of work from South Melbourne Ellis. It is one of the reasons Taliadora scores a lot of goals, uh, improvisation like that, to be able to uh, do the scissors kick in such circumstances. But again, some good work from uh, Trimboli. Unselfish work again. And uh, back to the goal. Worth a try and just misses. Now's the time if they want to score five minutes before the break. Stubbins taken out of commission by Gary Hasler. And if Stubbins gets a booking today, he'll be out for the two games. And that'll uh, actually be a big problem for Gary Cole and his team. Bruce McLaren. Gets his wall organised. Five men in that wall. And this is great range for Stubbins. And by my uh, calculations or my guessing, haven't checked the stars today for Phil Stubbins, but I I think he will really try one of those scorching drives of his from here. He does it straight through the wall, and McLaren just parries it around. The shot was on, and Stubbins answered it too with a beautiful attempt from there. And McLaren, you've got to uh, credit him for a good save. Well, it was a difficult save, low down to his right, but Stubbins, a fine striker of the ball, he's had that's his third strike on goal. And we don't see enough of that from midfielders. Wade with a strong header away. Now Trimboli with a steal. Teodorus. And Musket timed his run ever so well. Trimboli having an excellent game, Andy. He's all class, everything he's doing. He set that goal up, not just with class, but with a touch of unselfishness as well. There we saw him in a defensive mode, winning the ball back. Having an outstanding game from Bowley, involved in everything positive that South Melbourne are doing. Durakovic and Blair. They're just playing for half time, just on uh, three and a half minutes left in this first half. Big Melbourne derby of the round. Heidelberg against South Melbourne. South Melbourne are leading by one goal to nil. Lucianis, the early hero. And frustration creeping in. Uncharacteristic mistake by Stubbins. Just moments ago, McLaren, second time he was tested. And he answered his teammates with a lovely save. Well, it'll be between the teams, Andy, in the first half. Uh, just a touch of class from Trimboli and Lucianis to get that goal. But I think you'll find in the second half, once the coaches have got them at half time and with the heat, that both teams will settle down and play uh, a more uh, constructive, if that's uh, the right word, type of football. I think there's been a little bit too much of the derby atmosphere in this first half. And uh, the second half, I'm sure, we'll see both sides settle down. But the class of Trimboli and Bucciano is the only uh, deciding factor at this stage. Healy. It's a good ball for Wade. He gets his cross in. It comes off Alan Scott. Paul Wade has had a busy month or so. His commitments with the Socceroos. 
He led them to victory in that three-match series. Uh, he's hoping to lead South Melbourne. To a back-to-back -back championship win. In it comes, short for Wade. Back now for Salakis. Peterson. John for Triboli. Salakis is there with him. Salakis! And just cleared away off the line ahead of Tagadoris. Well done, South Melbourne. And an excellent strike from Salakis, but what a good move. Peterson, excellent ball for Trimboli. We're talking about the class of Trimboli. There's another classy touch. And Salakis' shot, or cross, just cleared. In comes the corner again. Blair was up and well wide of the target, though. And that was a timely clearance away. There's a thunderous shot or pass inside. And we'll have a look at it again. And you'll see here, this, this was extremely well done. So Larkas drives it in hard and Doug Hodgson was just on the line. One minute of normal time left. Not too much for stoppages, although the one change was made. When Murphy had to be replaced because of injury, when Gutsunis came on. South Melbourne, just one win in their last five outings. Muskets. I thought that uh, Oliver should have come for that, or the pass back, but Muskett had it under control. That's a fact he did knowledge with his keeper. Yeah, this is a trying period for the Heidelberg defence again. They can't afford to concede a goal here. Normal time is almost up. Just on... Uh, well, normal time is up right now, as I speak. And the line's been a signal for the throw. Maybe over the line. Mike Benovich hasn't really had too many problems. No tough ones to officiate today. That far side. And there, in fact, is the full-time, or well, the half-time whistle, I should say. Don't want to preempt things here at Olympic Village, but it's a half-time which reads South Melbourne. The visitors are leading Heidelberg United by one goal to nil, and Cobb Butzianis was the man who did it for them in the 23rd minute. So at half-time here, it's Heidelberg nil. South Melbourne won. Come on during the halftime break for Terry Patala. So Heidelberg have used up both of their substitutes as John Fraser gets us underway for the second half. So both subs are on, McNichol and Gutsulis. Patalis and Murphy are off. No changes at this stage for South Melbourne, although Wright and Fernandez were warming up during the halftime interval. Heidelberg running from the right to the left-hand side of your screen. As Stubbins has possession, he released it to the substitute Gutsulis and the return pass. No hope at all for Phil Stubbins. And we're not too sure why Patalis was taken off, and hopefully we can find find out during that second half. All spectators are reminded that and, they're not uh, the John, that's, the that's pretty uh, critical for a but team that have used up in. both subs. Well, it is. It's a, it's a desperation it's move or a, a move that shows cause of concern from Gary Cole to bring on uh, McNichol, another forward and take off Patalis. He's now uh, exhausted as he substitutes. But I think it indicates the state of the game just before half-time, the experience of South Melbourne starting to show. And Heidelberg really have to try something different to break the rhythm that South Melbourne was starting to uh, work up. They do have uh, greater experience, and now with the goal in front. So uh, Heidelberg have to try and counter it as quickly as possible, and Gary Cole sees that change is the best way to do it. And the change, we understand, is because uh, he wasn't really happy with Patalis' uh, commitment in the first half. Well, particularly... It was pretty congested midfield, though, wasn't it? There was a it lot of... was. I think Heidelberg had uh, a fair amount of cooperation and penetration down the right flank, but we didn't see much on the left involving uh, Patalis and Palacides. And perhaps it's just a move to uh, try and correct that. Palacides has some space in front of him, tries the shot, but bounced in front of McLaren. It could take. Well done, Bruce McLaren. An improvement on the last save. Again, the quick clearance. Three on three at the stage. 
headed away by Scott and out right in front of us here. So they're getting the ball straight back up field as soon as they get positioned at the back. There's no clearances of course. Some bother at the back for Heidelberg. Scott away. Nice touch on by Stubbins for Vitoulis. The ball through for Hunter. McLaren off his line and he gets there first. Well done, Bruce McLaren. Read the situation ever so well. Healy on for Peterson. And Wade had to pump it forward, but he found Trimboli. The touch on for Tayadoris. Tayadoris and Hodgson back inside for Trimboli. He gets the shot on, but wide though. And that really goes down as a good chance for South Melbourne, John. Was the shot just a little wide, but again, good interplay between Trimboli and uh, Taliadoris. Good understanding. Nice flick on from uh, Trimboli. The turn by uh, Taliadoris. Trimboli a little bit unsighted here. Shoots a little bit uh, blinded. But end-to-end -end stuff now, Andy. This is the decisive uh, period of the game. Heidelberg are throwing everything at South Melbourne and vice versa. The muskets. Clearance wasn't effective. Gutsoulis regained his balance and composure, but the pass for Palatsoulis was cut out by Healy. Stifkus looks up. Squeezed on for Palatsoulis. Healy was right on his back. Jurakovic. Nice work from the soccer rule. So effective when he makes these runs. Trimboli, Butzianis is on his left. Trimboli's got the goal and he's mercy and scores! And the class of Trimboli again, and the beautiful finishing. But uh, let's not forget the run from Jurakovic from the back. That was uh, all class as well. There he is, touches on Trimboli, creates space and then picks his spot and gives Olver no chance. Silence in the terraces at the moment, predominantly Heidelberg crowd as you would expect at their home ground and South Melbourne are leading by two goals to nil. And nice to see Trimboli score too Andy, he sets up so many goals for other players. Very unselfish and uh, nice to see him add to his own tally. But we said it was a decisive period and it did look as though Heidelberg, who were throwing everything at South Melbourne, uh, could get back into the game. But uh, one believes that that goal now could well see an avalanche from uh, South Melbourne. The long ball for Palacetis. Four South Melbourne players around him and Steve Blair is the one who's got it away. They've certainly tightened things up at the back with the likes of Blair and Jurakovic back in the side. Stubbins. Gutsoulis. Back for Stubbins. Healy's just ahead of him. Stubbins, not a bad ball at the back post. McNichol and Hassler now. Slifkus, Musket is free if he wants him. Now Hunter, the chance to finish it off. The rebound's been put away by Anthony Kutsulis. We've got a game on our hands now at Olympic Village. The substitute, Anji Kutsulis scores. 24 minutes into this second half. They're back in the hunt, John. Well, no one can begrudge uh, Heidelberg this goal, Andy. They have refused to give in. They've continued to have a go at South Melbourne. Their persistence has paid off. Muscat, who's uh, pushed himself into the attack so often, is the shot here which McLaren fails to hold. And uh, Angie putting it away there. He's had uh, several opportunities before and finally succeeded. But look at Muscat in attack. An excellent ball through and a bit of slack marking from South Melbourne here. A hunter's shot. McLaren would have liked to have handled that better. And he's done that on a few occasions today, and he dropped the ball. It's a, a, a habit that goalkeepers get into, and as we saw then, can be a very costly habit. Right in the way, McDickel, set up busy second half. He gets away from Hasler. He looks up, Blair is in front of him. Palacidis is up there, so is Hunter. Away by Healy to Stubbins, the shot by Stubbins, what a save! What a great save from McLaren. He's made a couple of errors, but he's certainly made up for it there. Phil Stubbins testing out Bruce McLaren. The quickly taken 
corner, aimed deep and headed away as the replay's on. There's another corner at the other side as we go through that replay, John. What a save. What a, and what a shot from Stubbins, too. Again, Gary Cole rating him as a goal-scoring midfielder. He's shown in about four attempts on goal today, that one being his best. But you have to admire Heidelberg, Andy. They were really up against it, down 2-0. They've refused to give in. And just the persistence and the determination is carrying them there. They're causing South Melbourne all sorts of problems. So Heidelberg, Alexander has still got plenty of gas left and they're playing with a lot of guts and determination. Hodgson's up there and the defender, you can't expect him to snap and turn and score from there, but it has happened before as the flag goes up. And we'll have a look at that... Uh, a sensational save for McLaren, and this is what it looked like for Bruce McLaren. Stubbins was the man. Well, to get down and over it, and a lovely save for McLaren. Stubbins, the man on the ball now. Slipkus. Amy Trufo. Balotinas, and save for McLaren. And the scramble fisted away. A golden chance. Joe Balotinas could have given some back to his old club. McLaren was there, and it's all action at Olympic Village. And Pella almost drew level for Heidelberg. Well, it's a tremendous save from McLaren, but Palacides would have liked to have done better, just a little lob over the advancing McLaren was the go. But it's amazing how much space uh, Heidelberg attackers are getting in that box. Look at uh, Palacides completely unmarked. And South Melbourne, for an experienced offensive, starting to get found out time and time again and you just sense that they're going to pay the price for it in a minute so now Heidelberg with Bratton McNichol trying to get around has the which it does now Balotin it's not enough power the right idea but the power wasn't there the chances are going begging now for Heidelberg and McNichol down that right flank uh, Andy causing all sorts of problems for South Melbourne's defence this was a change at half time and he's doing exactly what Gary Cole would have liked from him. But there's a necessity uh, for Heidelberg to, to convert these numerous opportunities. Scott and Musket, a bit of a communication uh, breakdown. I think you'll find uh, Andy Wright will come on and mark McNichol on uh, the uh, far right side for Heidelberg because he's been causing all the trouble down that flank. Peterson through ball Sayadoris keeping it in musket right behind him and the judge to have come off Kim on Sayadoris that's going to pause the decision of the linesman the change at such a late stage uh, indicates how concerned is uh, Ferenc Pushkas it is Salakis in fact coming off just on nine minutes left John Peter Talakis has done a lot of running today. And Danny Wright. He's made more appearances than any other player in the South Melbourne team. Oh, except for Steve Blair. Apologies, Steve. 226 appearances. Blair has made just about 320. There's the clearance from Olber. Blair was up there. Way. Balls now for McNichol. Bratton's made a run. There's the ball for Bratton. Well done. Bratton and Jurakovic. Jurakovic has played a key role today. And still Bratton fights. And he wins the throw in as well. Well done, Gary Bratton. Eight minutes left. 2-1 South Melbourne lead. Slifkus inside. And this clearance by Wright. Now Hasler. And a towering kick up field. One for Talia Doris and Hodgson to chase. Talia Doris gets there. And Trimboli couldn't get ahead of Alan Scott. Good header by Scott back to his keeper. And Talia Doris jumped up like an Australian football player. Olver elects to go the same way as McLaren with a long clearing kick. Wade. Moving it for Peterson. Trimboli. Scott right on his back. And he just hooks it away. And 
Pushkas, his instruction very clear there. Since Wright's come on, he's picked up Stubbins. And Pushkas wants Stubbins eliminated. Now Wright, that's in. Danny Wright scores. That, I think, is the ball game. With seven minutes left, a bad mistake in the centre of the Heidelberg defence and the substitute. Danny Wright comes on to score his 40th. You can't blame Jeffrey Oliver for that. His defence let him down. When Heidelberg deserved to get back in the game, they are down by three goals to yeah, one. Yes, one of the few, few mistakes from Heidelberg defence here, and Danny Wright, full of opportunism, just received a shout from Ferenc Pushkas, and there he is to touch home that all decisive goal. There's the mistake, Hodgson uh, in the challenge with Taliadoris, uh, not passed back correctly by Gasulis, and Danny Wright on hand to. Uh, makes Heidelberg pay for what has been a rare defensive error. There, in fact, is the full-time whistle here at Olympic Village. A great result for the champion, South Melbourne, to come back to form. Jeff Oliver, you couldn't really blame him for the three goals he conceded today. Paul Trimboli, he'd scored the second to really put them out.